Remember how last year Disney vowed to fight that evil Ron DeSantis? They were going to stand with the LGBTQIA plus all the letters communities. Community? Is it, is it communities or community? I don't know. But uh, <laughs> we have some news today about exactly what's going down with this. Uh, and I'll refresh you on the situation if you don't remember. It's very fun. Let's get into the news. My name is John Delarose. I'm a number one best-selling author and award-winning comic creator, and I do not represent all of those communities uh, with my work. I'm trying to bring things back to the way they were before Marvel and Disney and DC and all this stuff went way off the rails uh, these last few years. We're not going to have any pregnant Jokers or gay Robins or anything like that. We just have fun superhero stories. This is about uh, a, a team-up of two people who actually have to go out and <laughs> save the world from interdimensional lizard people. Imagine that. You Used to be fun in comics just like this and we're bringing it back so check out flying sparks there's only nine days left on the campaign uh and that link is in the description below thank you so much all right here's the news of the day Ah, Disney will not fight DeSantis' takeover of the special district in Orlando. If you remember last year, Disney used to have all these powers. They basically operated as their own, like, autonomous country within Florida in that whole, like, Disney World region. They've got, like, five theme parks in there, hundreds of acres. I mean, it's just ridiculously uh, a large place. And uh, they got to do whatever they want. They pretty much had their own laws. It was a lot, a lot like an Indian reservation or whatnot uh, in a lot of ways to where <laughs> Disney had carte blanche over whatever. Well, Ron DeSantis stripped them of their powers once they started trying to push back against the don't say gay law, which is what they call it. Uh, but it is really just an anti-grooming bill at the end of the day. And uh, Disney wanted to push. They wanted to get into politics. They wanted to harass Florida and try to make it so that children were going to get forced to be taught these things in the classroom from teachers. And uh, the parents in Florida all fought back against Disney. Well, guess what? Disney, uh, at the end of the day, and this is what you'll always find with social justice warriors, they caved. Uh, once it actually gets hard for them, once it's actually going to impact their business to some degree, they're not going to remove freaking Disney World <laughs> from where they're at or their big headquarters and all that. I mean, it's going to be impossible for them to do so. And so they're not willing to take this fight and actually just torch their businesses uh, in exchange for that. Because at the end of the day, Disney is just an evil money-grubbing corporation. They don't care about anything. They're just trying to virtue signal. I think they thought that their virtue signal might be enough. But here it is. Disney will not fight a bill that gives Governor Ron DeSantis broad towers over to Orlando theme parks after a bill passed both houses of Florida and legislature this week. This bill establishes a new district to assume powers held by the Reedy Creek Improvement District, which Disney has controlled since 1967. Oof, that's a big change. This new entity, the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District, will be run by a five-member board appointed by DeSantis and confirmed by the state Senate. That's right. They're going to be watching Disney very closely now. You know these guys are, are exploiting uh, tax laws and things like that. You know it's not, not a nice thing. Uh, and uh, other other people, you know, you got a small business or whatnot, you're not going to be able to get the same benefits that Disney has uh, out of anywhere that they're at because they have such a huge uh, sort of lobbying arm and so much monetary power that it's really a different ballgame. Uh, and this is the problem with mega corporations across the board. They have way too much power, uh, and that influences politics. It influences our social climate. It's a bad, bad deal. You combine that with the propaganda in movies uh, and everything else that they're putting forth these days, uh, it's really a destructive uh, thing towards our culture. So I'm very glad that DeSantis is fighting back and that there's now an oversight committee that's specifically there just to watch this mega corporation. I think it's a lot of fun, and uh, I can't wait to see what happens within this. Uh, this <laughs> Disney, of course, made a statement. It's ready to work within this new framework like they could do anything. Um, they uh, So this happened because Disney came out against the... It was called the Parental Rights and Education uh, Law there, and uh, they thought that... Disney was going to file a bunch of different lawsuits and all that to try to really push back as they were standing with the community after all. Uh, but it turns out, like usual, they're all bark and no bite. And this is just a lesson for everybody. Look, at the end of the day, social justice is only about just like trying to to virtue signal, to peacock, and uh, to get uh, get some attention within uh, circles and get some little golf claps from people. None of these people have bravery. None of them have any real convictions. None of them have any real morals at all. And so they'll cave at the first sign of trouble. So never, ever give an inch, never back down, never apologize to these people because you know what? You are right. You have God's law on your side and they don't. At the end of the day, we will always win. Some positive news for the day. All right, leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to check out Flying Sparks, the alternative to Marvel and DC. 
wonderful superhero stuff. Appreciate you guys for being there. See you.